Hey everyone, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Friday Face Off. If you are watching this on Friday, congratulations, we made it to the weekend. And if you're catching this on Monday morning, well, it's just the beginning of your week, but that's okay. Start watching these on Friday and it will kick off your weekend with knowing which products you may want to buy and which beauty products you may just want to skip out on. Today we are talking all about long lasting liquid lipstick that is supposed to be non-drying. Now, if you are like me, you like the longevity that a liquid lipstick can carry. However, it can just be one day of beautiful lips is not worth the five days of really dry chapped peeling hurtful lips. I know, but there seems to be some new formulations that have been brought to the market that are supposed to not be quite as drying. Today we are facing off the I'm Still Here Longwear Liquid Lip by Gwen Stefani's brand GXVE and we're going to face that off with the vinyl by Maybelline. Both are supposed to be long wear and both claim to have ingredients that are to help with a comfortable feel. So we will see. Now here's a little secret. I was originally going to face off the Gwen Stefani's new I'm Still Here liquid lip up against the newly formulated KVD Everlasting liquid lip. Because if you guys remember the old formula where it had the design on, on the lid, Viola, one of my favorites. And this was said to be reformulated. So it now comes in 30 shades. Eight of them are new with the new formulation. That was my original plan. The colors were pretty similar. The marketing materials pretty similar. Price points were pretty similar. So I thought, let's just see how the new formula holds up to Gwen Stefani's I'm Still Here Liquid Lip. The challenge was once I started reading the reviews on this one, I mean, the first page of reviews, one star. Second page of reviews, one star, one star, one star, one star. A lot of people are complaining about how drying this is, how it's not nearly as good as the original formula. I didn't want to put forward a product to you guys to say, you know, let's just test it when I have some suspicion of how it's going to turn out. Now, it may be great. I'm still going to test it off camera, but I just didn't think it made sense to include this in a face off if early indications are it's just not a good purchase right now. And if that's the case, maybe they'll come out with a new formula that is a little bit less drying where the color will last. So let's get into today's face off. We're gonna put these through the test. I am gonna wear them both for 16 hours and I'll see how bad of a decision that is tomorrow after doing that. Let's get a product rundown before we get into this face off. The Gwen Stefani I'm Still Here Liquid Lip sells for $24, is 1.7 ounces and comes in eight really pretty shades. It is a liquid lipstick that comes with a doe foot applicator. It is said to be lightweight and a matte finish. It's a fairly new product, so it has 4.1 stars out of about 350 reviews. It is a clean brand, it's cruelty free, it's vegan, and it is said to be transfer proof. So long wearing, transfer proof, vegan, matte, cruelty free, $24. And let's go over to the Maybelline side. This sells for $12.99, just a little smaller at 1.4 ounces and comes in 10 different colors. It's also a liquid lipstick, said to be long wearing up to 16 hours. It's a matte finish and said to be ultra lightweight. This has been on the market a little bit longer, so it has 4.6 stars out of over 3,500 reviews. And it also claims to be no budge and transfer proof. And we are going to put both of these to the test. So if you are ready to get into it and see how these wear through a variety of eating, drinking, 16 hours, then stick around because we're going to get right to it. With this last minute switch to the Maybelline, I've got a few final notes I just want to make. You know somebody likes to journal or likes to keep notes? These are available on my website at jodymanis.com. I really love this logo. It just makes me happy every time I see it. I feel like, yes, I love my age. I'm gonna embrace my age. All right, we're gonna put these on just like the instructions tell us to, and they both say to have a clean, dry lip. For point of comparison, this is the flannel by GXVE, so Gwen Stefani's brand, and Maybelline is peachy. So pretty similar in color. My husband has no idea what I'm doing today, so we'll see if he notices that there's a dark line right down the center of my lips. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll notice that. All right, so we are going to apply this really pretty one by Gwen Stefani. It's a plastic container that says me, you, yours on two sides, and then the opposite side, it has her logo, the GXVE. It comes in a, with a gold top, and then like I said, it's a doe foot applicator. In terms of the instructions, it said apply on dry lips, 
Define and shape with the edge of the applicator, then fill to perfect. This buildable formula goes on in one swipe but can be layered. Wait for the formula to dry down before applying a second layer. It also says that all GXVE Beauty outer boxes are 100% recyclable, which I love that. And their primary containers are made with sustainable materials, including 30% or higher post-consumer recycling plastics or glass. It, it does have a pretty sharp tip on it, so you could define the lip if you want it, and I'm going to. I'm just going to go up. The edge of the doe foot applicator made it really easy to outline my lip perimeter first, and then gliding this product on was very easy, very smooth. It has a vanilla, like a sugar cookie vanilla smell. Not bad. It's really pretty, actually. It makes me just want to go eat warm sugar cookies. So that may be bad. I don't think I need a second layer. It does look really, really pretty. I love the matte of that color. Uh, let's, but I do want to add a second layer just to see how buildable it is. This product was really easy to layer. It blends very nicely and it didn't change the color with the second coat. We will let that sit for a second. For the Maybelline vinyl product, this is in the color Peachy. It is a hard plastic all the way around. It's not real big, which is great. It can fit very nicely into purses, handbags, things like that. There is my security marker for Rite Aid to make sure that I didn't steal it. And this is the Super Stay Vinyl Ink. And again, I have it in color peachy. I don't mind the packaging at all. I'm glad that it's not really expensive packaging. I'd rather spend the money in the product. And let's talk about this color peachy and how to apply it. It says, shake for at least five seconds before applying. Apply as you normally would to clean dry lips and let fully dry. You guys, it's also important to note that in these instructions, and we're gonna test this because I was really curious and I didn't want to test it before, but in the instructions on how to use the Maybelline, it says flammable until dry, do not use near fire, flame, or heat. Wait, what? Now, I'm not a smoker, but if you are, like, what's gonna happen if you put this on and then reach for a cigarette and light it up? Like, what are you, like, is your whole face gonna catch on fire? These are things we need to know. So, I'm gonna take a blank piece of paper. I'm going to put some of this on it. It says it's flammable until it's dry. Okay, so there it is. I've got my little clicker here where I light my candles. I just wanna know, like, what's gonna happen? There's a flame there. You may not be able to see it because of all the lights, but I'll get my own hair out of the way before I blow up. Like, no, it's not going to explode or... I mean, I wonder, was this a lawsuit? Is that why that's on there? I'm glad it's on there, I think. But you know how much alcohol or butane or propane must be in this if it's flammable until it dries down? Benzyl alcohol, but it's way down on the list. I hope somebody didn't actually find that out the hard way. Well, even though we aren't going to be smoking today, that is part of the face-off that now we know the result of. I think we will be okay, but again, go by the manufacturer's instructions. The doe foot applicators on both of these, the way they're, they come to that edge, does lend themselves to being able to outline your lips with just this one product versus needing a lip liner, lip pencil, gel lip liner, and then this. This one has a very, very, very light fragrance, very light. I don't think you would really be able to tell. Even though Maybelline is not cruelty-free and it's not a clean brand, this specific product is formulated without animal-derived ingredients or byproducts. So that's worth noting. I think they are pretty dry. The This one, you guys, I really do. I hope this wears as well as it says it's going to because I really love the way that looks. I love that color. The Maybelline's probably not my favorite color, but that's not what we're testing today. We're testing to see how long it lasts. Fast forward, it's been about 15 minutes, so both of these products should be good and dry. I'm just gonna refer to this as the Gwen Stefani brand. It's actually GXVE, but that's just, that's kind of hard to say. I'm just gonna go with the Gwen Stefani brand. It has dried down to be a really, really pretty matte color, and the Maybelline Peachy is starting to grow on me. It didn't dry down quite as matte, so now that these are on and they are dry, let's put them through a series of tests to see which one is worthy of your hard-earned money, if either. A typical day, we have our makeup on, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna reach for coffee. This is if you put your makeup on at home. Let's see on this nice clean white coffee mug if either of these transfer. And I do have water in here because otherwise it'd be a fake test and I don't know that I would like press my lips on it if I was just gonna like see. So I'm really gonna drink some water. Drinking
both have transferred just a little tiny bit onto the glass, but it doesn't look like it took much off of the lips at all. And if you don't have time to drink coffee or tea in the morning, you might look forward to stopping at your favorite drive through coffee place or tea place and grabbing one to go. So let's see if either one of these transfer on a paper cup versus more of a morning coffee cup. We left a little on the paper, but we left the majority of it on our lips. And for some of you, the only transfer proof exercise that really matters is with a glass of wine. Now, I'm not a big drinker. This isn't wine as you can, I mean, anybody that drinks wine is probably like, uh, no, we're calling BS, that is not wine. This is actually Gatorade, but it doesn't matter. This demonstration is to see if either of these liquid lipsticks leave themselves behind on this glass because we've all been there, we've all been there. But maybe with the new generation of liquid lip formulas, that won't happen anymore, let's see. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is you can't tell what color is left on the glass. The bad news is you can see that my lips were on the glass. So that's actually better than I expected it to be. Another important factor when considering which liquid lipstick you should buy if you're looking for long wear is the important kiss test. Now my husband is working right now so I cannot go grab him and give him a kiss to see if this works but I thought let's just test it on a blank piece of white paper so we can see how transfer proof they really are. And now we're looking at this backward because of the way we held the paper. So this is the Maybelline side. Here's the Gwen Stefani side. And the Maybelline side definitely left some transfer. So even though it says it's transfer proof, it's not kiss transfer proof as much as the Gwen Stefani side. On most of these little exercises where we've tested if they're transfer proof, while some product has transferred, there is still a lot of product on both sides and they still look really, really pretty. That's more than I can say for this lip design I have going on today. So here we are at the mid-afternoon check-in point. I put these lipsticks on at seven o'clock this morning. It is now almost two. I have eaten lunch. I did not take you guys with me because, well, it was very uneventful. I decided not to go out. It is raining outside and I have had editing to do and my lips are two different colors. So I thought, let's just make a sandwich here at the house, have a nice salad and call it a day. So while I'm impressed that both of these colors are still really solid on and they look beautiful and they are matte, I have to tell you guys, I've been editing all day. So I've just been sitting here at the computer silence, there's no distractions, that my mind keeps going to how dry this side feels. It is the Gwen Stefani side and it's just, it's not a burning, but it's a, it's as if I had taken an alcohol swab almost and rubbed that half of my, this side of my mouth with it. It feels tight, it feels dry, and there's a little slight uncomfortable burn to it. I don't know why you'd wanna wear it this long. I, this Maybelline side, I don't feel it. It's not a distraction at all. So it does claim to be 16 hours. This side, this one claims to be long wear. I feel like it, four or five hours is probably long enough, but it's such a pretty color. I'm worried about what my lips are gonna look like tomorrow, so I am gonna take a picture. This shows the aftermath of wearing a liquid lipstick for this long. And I was just doing the math and realized that I have to be up until 11 o'clock tonight with this lipstick on to see if it wore 16 hours. I'm not gonna do that with this Glen Stefani side. I think my lips will be so parched for days and days. They almost hurt right now, so I'm not being over dramatic. It's slightly uncomfortable. If you have a special event and you need a beautiful lipstick for the entire evening or the entire football game or throughout someone's wedding in the reception, if you need a lipstick that's gonna wear but you're not gonna wear it every day, I think you'd be okay with these. Fortunately, this one doesn't claim to last 16 hours. I don't think I could do 16 hours with the Gwen Stefani one. So far, they're both holding up really nicely. They are definitely transfer proof, no budge. They're gorgeous. One is pain free, so there's that. I'm also on my third refill of this water bottle and there's no lipstick on it either. So these are definitely transfer proof. Hey everyone, so here we are at the 13 and a half hour mark and these lips have been through it today. Not only two cups of coffee, lunch, dinner, several snacks throughout the day, I'm almost embarrassed to admit, some little bit of ice cream, and then I'm on my fourth bottle of water. And I have not reapplied either one of these liquid lipsticks. So I have to say for either one of them, 
to have lasted 13 and a half hours is very, very impressive because you can see there's hardly any wear on either side. At about three o'clock in the afternoon, I stopped feeling that dryness on this side. At this point, they're both very comfortable to wear. I can't really even tell that I have them on. The brightness of the color is still there. They're not patchy. I think they still look really, really beautiful. So I think these are both a really good buy for a special occasion. If you're gonna go to Disneyland for the whole day, for example, and you're gonna be eating something, or if you're gonna be at a family reunion and you wanna just have really nice lips throughout the whole day. The bottom line is they both wear a very long time, 13 and a half hours, through a variety of different wear tests. The color and the pigment of the color is still there. I think the difference is the Gwen Stefani one's a little bit uncomfortable to wear throughout the day, where the Maybelline one, I don't feel it at all. And I feel like up close, the Gwen Stefani side looks a little bit less hydrated, less plump, where the Maybelline side still looks like it's got a little bit of plumpness and moistness and hydration to the lip. And that's a look that I do want even with a matte lipstick or liquid lipstick. I would have to say that hands down, Maybelline would be my go-to with this. And there's a great color selection in the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Colors. I'm gonna do a quick follow-up because I gave both of these liquid lipsticks such a hard time about what my lips were gonna feel like the next day. After having both of those liquid lipsticks on for 13 and a half hours, there's no cracking, there's no peeling, they're not dry. I haven't had to slather on the moisturizer. So these new formulation sort of generation 2.0 of liquid lipsticks are definitely worth revisiting. If you're on the market for a pretty long lasting liquid lipstick that's a matte finish, I hope this face off helped you decide which of these two products might be the best buy for your hard earned money. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.